Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel and today's tutorial is how to add a power window in Vegas Pro 18. So if you ever use DaVinci Resolve, you have the ability to add a power window which basically is just a mask and having the mask to motion track uh, onto your video so that any adjustment that you make uh, on the coloring will only affect the mask area. So you can emulate that too uh, here in Vegas Pro 18. So I have a clip over here and already pretty much color graded using the color grading panel. And as you can see, it's pretty dark on the left part here. And you can see here from the waveform, it's bright here, but it's dark over here. It's below 40 IRE and I want to brighten it up a bit more. So to do that, to only affect this part of the image, I have to mask it out. So from the grading panel, you just press the Bezier mask and it'll automatically add a mask into your video. This panel will pop out, just press the bezier mask and just go to general options and press mask effects. So instead of masking the video, you just mask out the effects behind it, which is currently masking out the color grading effects. So of course, we don't want to mask out the color, but it's okay. For now, we just want to basically place the mask first. All right, so let's go to the mask one and uh, let's choose the type to be oval instead of square and I'm just gonna place it somewhere around here because this is the dark area and let's resize the mask so that it fit the area that I want to brighten up so this area I think is good enough in my opinion all right so once you're happy how the mask place uh, on your video and once you confirm you can close the video event effects panel here and just simply press the motion track here. Now, if you don't know how to motion track in Vegas Pro 18, I highly recommend to watch my previous tutorial on how to motion track. Uh, once you watch that tutorial, you can continue watching this tutorial. So once you click that motion tracking panel, it should automatically detect the bezier mask that you have added into your video. So now it, it's already detected, which is the bezier mask uh, 1.1 here. So now uh, let's change the precision to be accurate and the mode to be location. Now the mode is very important. It purely depends on your clip. So in this case, this is just a simple handheld shot. It doesn't move around so much. So I highly recommend to choose a location. If your video somehow move around and you have a three key sort of shots that you only want to specific to color correct on that area, then choose perspective. All right, so in this case, it's fairly simple shot. I'm just gonna pick location. And since I will play it somewhere in between, let's just press track both directions so that Vegas will automatically track both ways. Once it's done, you can scrub through your timeline. You can see how well our mass is being tracked to our video, which is very great. Okay, once it's done, let's close the motion tracking panel and go back to our video effects here. And since we just want to basically brighten up this area, not to mask out the green panel, uh, just simply drag the bezier masking effects behind the color grading so it won't mask out the color grading. Now that's fixed. So let's brighten up this image here. So in this case, uh, let's go to the video effects tab and I'm gonna add a color curve. So I'm gonna use color curve to brighten up my image. So once that added to your video clips, now if if you increase this, it will affect everything in your image. That is because it's sitting in front of the bezier mask. So you have to shift this behind. So let's reset it to default and move the color curve behind the bezier mask. So now if I increase or make any adjustment on the color curve, it only affect on the mask area. So let's just say you want to do some color correction or any some adjustment uh, on, on that specific mask area. You have to make sure that the effects sitting behind Bezier mask. All right. So let's just increase it a bit here, add a bit of black. And I think that's look pretty, pretty good. And of course it's pretty harsh because I haven't add any feathering here. So to add feathering, just go back to your Bezier mask and here's the feather. Just increase it all the way to 50, which is 100% here. So now we can just fine tune a bit here back and it only affect the mask area. So now if we play, our video look much more better. So that's how you emulate or add power window in Vegas Pro 18. 
So if you have any question related, you can leave it down in the comment section and I'll try my best to help you guys. So see you guys next time on my next video.